Ocean Nogada, Tohiju. That's Cherokee for hello everybody, how are you? Today I'm going to show you how to make some modern day petroglyphs. It's kind of been a passion of mine for uh, many decades. I love to go out in the country and hike, particularly in the southwest, and find petroglyphs and just enjoy them. Uh, as you know, they're pretty sacred and you never want to touch them, you always got to leave them alone. But I always come home with pictures of them and I thought, how can I enjoy them on a daily basis? So one day I decided I'm going to make my own petroglyphs. And what you're going to show you right now, this is one that I've done at, actually in my uh, front yard. This is a rock here and back in uh, 2019, I was up in uh, Utah and this is actually some some renderings of what newspaper rock looks like. You can see this is a horse with a guy shooting uh, an arrow at a, a buffalo there. And then these are some different markings that are also uh, taken uh, uh, as an inspiration off that panel. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you over and I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to uh, make your own petroglyphs. Follow me. Healy. So it's really simple. You don't need a whole lot of things. I'm gonna show you the tools that you're gonna need. Uh, first of all, I use diamond burrs like this for doing my uh, grinding into my rocks. I really like the ball shapes. The ball shapes tend to uh, hold, uh, hold the pattern really nicely. And if you're doing some fine detail work, you can use some stuff like this. Uh, a pair of safety glasses. I use a number two pencil to mark out my petroglyph that I'm gonna make. A uh, particle mask is important, and a brush to clean it off. And I mentioned safety glasses. So, just to kind of give you an idea, this is where I took my inspiration. This was uh, uh, right off the road in uh, Utah, a place called Newspaper Rock, and it's a very famous uh, panel. There's, uh, uh, <laughs> there's, there's representation of 2,000 years ago all the way up to almost present day. This is one that was done absolutely after the uh, 1700s because Native Americans didn't have horses until after the 1500s that they took from the Spanish. And here he is shooting an arrow. I thought this was pretty special. You can see this guy here, what I have done is I've taken it and with a number two pencil, I've actually drawn the shape of what I'm gonna do. We've got this guy here and he's watching out over the rain clouds growing the corn here. So what I'm gonna do is I would carve into that. Um, these are some other pieces that I've done. This is just regular, what I call flagstone. You can buy this from any uh, hardware or any uh, rock supply store. And then these are just rocks that I have picked up. Uh, this, okay, so this is uh, one that I previously done and then I actually kind of colored it in with a Sharpie. This kind of gives you a petroglyph pictograph combination here where we've actually come in and we've colored in the, the etching that we've done in the rock. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how it's, how it's done. What I do is I'm using a flexible shaft tool here. Uh, this is available from a lot of the different hardware stores. Uh, Fordham uh, Manufacturing Company makes a really nice uh, uh, high quality tool. They use it in jewelry work all the time, has variable speed. So what I do is I put my little diamond burr in here and then I get ready to do this. I'm putting on my safety glasses and my mask now. So what I do is I look to the, to the piece that I'm gonna work on and I'm just gonna carve this as we work. So I turn on the machine and I'm just reaching down here. And I carve. This is essentially what they did, the uh, three Pueblans and all the different uh, different folks that were doing this. And this is what I use my brush for, just to kind of clean it off.
I don't use a whole lot of pressure. I let the diamond uh, ball do most of the work as it's coming in here and abrading the material. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of laying this out and then I'll come back in a little bit, clean up all the, the areas. And then periodically brush it off so you get a real good look to it to see where you're working with. Once you have the outline done, then you come back in, you can use a little bit more pressure to make a little deeper, deeper pass through. Real quickly, you can see that would be considered uh, a petroglyph. And you can see over here, this flagstone material is real easy to work with, where this other one I just did was all natural rock. This flagstone really gives you a nice looking contrast. So you can do whatever you want to do. And then on this one here, a lot of you people have uh, probably got a lot of art sense and a whole lot better artistry than I, than I am. What I did is I took this material and I kind of used the natural formation of the rock. And I'm showing the Native American on the horse shooting at something like an elk. And you can see that he's sitting on a bluff here. So what you can do is you can use your own artistry and uh, uh, take it to whatever level that you want to. But it's a fun hobby. And it's not a very expensive hobby either. You can... Uh, you can go down to the store, uh, like a, a True Value or a, a, maybe a, a Home Depot or someplace like that, and you can buy yourself a little Dremel, the Dremel that's a battery uh, uh, run, and they're only about $40, $50, $60. Your Diamond Burrs you can get from Harbor Freight or uh, some different hardware stores. So you're all in for less than $100, and you're making petroglyphs that are going to last for lots and lots of years. One final thing I kind of like to show you, kind of something that I did, my interpretation uh, is over here. I'm a, I'm a member of the Cherokee Nation uh, of Oklahoma, and this is what I did during the pandemic. Um, this is, this says Jalagi or Cherokee, and this is, says community. And my interpretation is, uh, this is that doggone COVID virus that's attacking us. Uh, uh, the, all around the world. This represents one of our Cherokee uh, health workers with his uh, protection on, with his uh, personal protection, and he's fighting back the virus. And this is the community that uh, he or she is protecting. So you can kind of let your, let your uh, imagination go. And uh, I'm gonna put a link to the bottom uh, for a few suppliers that I use. And uh, uh, go ahead and and show me uh, some pictures of some things you guys have done. It's, uh, it's really a lot of fun, and they make really good gifts. Anyway, dona daga hai, which is until we see each other again in Cherokee.